haven't vlogged in a couple of days because I've been sick. Maya told me that she found it funny how the last vlog was basically a kind of montage of me becoming worse and worse. So here's to a montage of me becoming better and better regarding my health. And uh, due to being sick, I really didn't, you know, like read a lot because I didn't just have the capacity. I actually started um, listening to an audiobook series Moonlight by Jen Bennett. It's like, you know, an easy YA type of, well, this is a YA romance novel. So yeah, uh, that, that was the only thing that I could actually kind of, you know, get wrap my head around. Um, so yeah, um, I find it okay. You know, uh, oh my god, I read Starry Night, I think, I, that was brilliant, I love that. This is not as good, but it's interesting, you know, it's cute, and uh, it's about this girl that's, uh, kind of, that really loves mysteries and crime books, and a boy that's kind of trying to, um, you know, win her over her heart after they had a one night stand that she kind of ran away from after everything happened because of her own insecurities. So I am reading that. I am also reading Good Omens still. I love the book, but like, you know, brains. I'm like roughly, a, I'll be like a third of the way. But yeah. I find it really funny. I really like the British humor, uh, the nods to like other authors like Edgar Allan Poe, to songs, to like every I love it. I love it. It's really br great and uh, kind of strikingly um, very um, correct to this day and age, although it was written in the 1990s, so yeah, kind of shockingly good predictions in there for our world. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, yesterday uh, we were all day in Rijeka, uh, we kind of walked around, I don't know, my Fitbit watch says we like walked for uh, 25,000 steps, so that's like crazy. And uh, also, I needed to go to the bookstore because I was going to the bookstore there. And so, I bought a couple of stuff, so I'm gonna show you right now. I'm sorry, I'm not really, you know, like I don't know what the books are specifically about. So, first, I'm gonna show you Julian Barnes, The Only Story. Uh, so, this is a book that uh, my boyfriend bought. Uh, we read Julian Barr's The Sense of an Ending and it was really good and he saw that this was his next book and he just needed to buy it. Uh, Julian Barr's is a fiction writer. Uh, it's mostly contemporary and it's quite contemplative and makes you think about, you know, life and love and what they mean. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you more once I read this. Then I bought Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I really like the cover. Uh, I read Uprooted and I really loved it. So when I saw this, and it was the same size as the Uprooted one, which, you know, I am a big fan of, <laughs> and I decided to buy it. So this is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling, and actually I'm really excited to read it. Then, I bought uh, Anna by Niccolo Omaniti. This is my favorite Italian writer. I have read almost every book he has ever written. And this is uh, apparently a new book by him. So I just needed to buy it. Uh, I didn't even read what it was about. I just took it because it's him and I know it's gonna be good. But, um, oh. It's about some kind of uh, apocalypse. 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 It's for years since the virus came, killing every adult in its path. Long after the, that, the electricity failed. Now Anna cares for her brother alone in a house hidden in the woods. Okay, 
So it's about Anna who kind of, I think she's a girl because she looks really small here. So we're gonna see, I really like it. It's quite a short one for him, but yeah, I can't wait to read this. And finally, one of my favorite writers ever, I bought Nosferatu by Joe Hill and oh my god, I can't wait to read this. This is like, this is gonna be read this year because I really want to. It says a terrifying new trailer. So, spooky October or some shit like that? Because I already have my September TBR planned out, so this can happen then. But, hmm, October, hello. I don't know actually what this is about. I've just heard ratings. It's Joe Hill. Uh, I'm probably gonna do an actual haul with Maya at some point, so I'm gonna tell you, I'll prepare and tell you what the books are actually about. finished Good Omens. I absolutely loved it. Uh, it was fun. It had uh, some good social commentary. It is incredibly, you know, true to our age. So, as I said before, so yeah, I totally enjoyed it and I recommend it to everyone who wants to read something fun and just uh, easygoing and just crazy all over. I also uh, started the Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. I think this is for my prompt with um, book with a map in it. So I'll show you. Like, there's a map. There's a big map. Uh, so I read like roughly 100 pages of it, and um, I really like it. The setup so far is really, really good. Um, it's uh, a Snow White retelling, but it's not, uh, you know, like literally following the plotline of Snow White. It's rather taking the characters and doing their own thing with it. For now, we'll see. Uh, I read a couple of reviews uh, about the book, um, which were not really good, so I'm treading lightly with it. But so far, I mean, I really, really like it, so... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. And um, after this, I'm supposed to read uh, I Shall Wear Midnight by Terry Pratchett and uh, Catch 22 by somebody I know who it is, but I can't remember now. But anyways, um, I'm dreading the Catch 22 because I already started reading it a couple of months ago and I got to 50 pages and stopped. But like so many people that I know tell me that it's such a great book that I really want to read it but I have eight days until the end of August hold on I'm on my vacation I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to finish it. maybe if I finish this today and start catch 22 tomorrow and then I would have like and like three days for that three days for uh, a terror project we'll see we'll see how it goes but the weather is treating us uh, nicely so far, so we are going to the beach. I actually managed to read a lot yesterday on the beach, so I'm hoping to do that again. And yeah, that is it. Uh, and yeah, bye. Hello. Uh, it's not really morning, it's already noon, but hi. Anyways, um, I managed to read the entirety of The Shadow Queen yesterday. I found it quite interesting. Um, it was a, an interesting retelling of Snow Red. It really had uh, like a different take on it. I really like that we got, both got to see Lorelai's and Irina's point of view, so both of the Snow White and the Evil Queen, and you got to kind of dive a bit into her personality and why she is how she is and uh, yeah I really I mean I, I enjoyed it. it it didn't blow my mind it didn't you know suck it was just you know like a very solid good read I'm gonna give it three stars uh, I really liked it I just I liked it uh, some uh, 
the writing style was really easy it flowed uh, at times uh, just like with flame in the mist uh, there were some phrases that kept repeating themselves and that kind of bothered me like a bit but the, it happened like maybe two or three times in here so it's not it wasn't overwhelming I actually enjoyed the characters uh, quite a bit uh, I really like that one of the characters is a dragon uh, Maya you're gonna love this <laughs> but yeah I really like the fact that one of them was a dragon and he was like kind of fighting for his humanity let's say is that a spoiler maybe I mean uh, I read the reviews I get what people are saying when they see it as like a combination of a couple of YA books already out in this uh, genre but like I don't know I think it was a very solid read um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue I saw that there are like four books in this series not connected they're just retellings I think there's a Rumpelstiltskin retelling uh, the Prince of the Popper and something else that I forgot but in any case uh, if you want just like some kind of uh, light read, it does have its throws, but you know, it's a YA, YA fantasy retelling. There's so many of them. Can you do something more? If you can, if you know books that do more than the standard, please let me know. But I wouldn't like be mean about this book. I really liked it. Uh, and after I finished uh, The Shadow Queen, is it called the Shadow Queen? Okay, yes. Uh, I started reading Terry Pratchett's I Shall Wear Midnight. This is for my book club. And I must say, it's hilarious. Like, hello to the two-year-old, five-year-old, ten-year-old, whatever, giggling at a giant without pants on and showing all his glory to, like, everybody. So, yeah. Way to go for me, being childish, but okay. <laughs> hello. So... It is the second to last day of the newts, and yes, if you notice, my eye isn't feeling uh, very well, allergies, and I, I'll see how it goes in the next day or two, but potentially I'll have to go to the ER to see what's going on anyways uh so what has been happening there's been a lot i won't go into like the private stuff but with regard to books i read spell slinger that shit is good i loved it five stars love the characters loved the story loved the development, the plot, it, I just loved it, read it in a day and a half, it was so interesting, god, I'm so happy I replaced Catch-22 with this, I mean, I'm not saying that Catch-22 is bad, I'm just saying this was freaking awesome, I have, I'm at 32% of I Shall Will Midnight, and I was hoping to read it by the end of Saturday, I lied, it's 29th. It is not the 30th. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, I'm hoping to read it by uh, Saturday night. So I can, you know, say that I finished my nudes. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's basically it. This will be my last vlog. Uh, I think for quite some time now. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But... Basically, I've been sick throughout this week. So, yeah. Sick, sick and tired. <laughs> oh, gosh. Crazy stuff. Anyways, uh, that is it. I will leave you now. I will leave you with the hope that you have a wonderful end of August, a wonderful uh, September. And, yes, please like, share, subscribe. Click the bell button if you want to get notifications when we post our new videos. There's going to be a lot of them. Not a lot of them, just the regular amount. Just, there's going to be a lot of different videos uh, next month, so and a couple of new ones. So you'll see, we'll see how you like them. And yes, that is it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in our next video.
Bye.